Hi, in this video we will talk about pleomorphic adenoma which is a benign salivary gland tumor. Now as we know it is a benign salivary gland tumor and it is the most common salivary gland tumor, most common. If we look at its name, its name is pleomorphic, the term pleo itself means many. Now it has various types of tissue components in that. So it has the cells in that it has the epithelial cells which could be ductal cells or non-ductal cells and it does have non-epithelial tissue in that we have chondroid, myxoid and the osseous tissue as well. The term pleomorphic adenoma was suggested by Willis. Now this point is important. Now if we look at the source of this tumor, the most common recommended source is the myoepithelial cells and the reserve cells in the ductal epithelium. Although there has been controversy, but these are the most commonly recommended source of histogenesis. Now, this tumor, pleomorphic adenoma, as we already talked, it is the most common tumor of the salivary gland and very commonly seen in the parotid gland. Even in the parotid gland, if we look at it, it is seen in the lower superficial lobe, lower superficial lobe of the parotid. But amongst the major salivary glands, it is very, very rare in the sublingual salivary gland. Now, after parotid, the second most common site where this tumor is seen is palate. That is a minor salivary gland. So, 8% of tumor is found in palate. We can see it here. Now, if you look at its clinical features, this tumor is very common in females like most of the other salivary gland tumors is commonly seen in four to six decades. So, very common in four decade. There is no fixation of the underlying tissue or the overlying tissue. So, if if you try to pinch the skin over the tumor, you can do that because even the overlying skin or the underlying tissue is not attached to the tumor. The tumor is firm and nodular if you palpate it. Sometimes you may feel cystic degeneration you know, on palpation. This is because of the accumulation of the myxoid and the mucoid tissues inside the tumor. There is no ulceration seen. There is no nerve involvement. You know, although the pa uh, facial nerve passes through the parotid gland, but still, in spite of that, there is no nerve involvement. Histologically, as its name suggests, it is pleomorphic. Now, based on its content of the myxoid and the cellular tissue, it is classified into four variants. This classification was given by Foot and Frazzo. first type has mostly the myxoid tissue, the second variant has equal amount of myxoid and the cellular tissue. From the third variant, the cellular comp component increases, the third type is predominantly cellular while the fourth is extremely cellular wherein the cellular comp component is pretty much increased. Now if you look at this histologically at this tumor, it is made up of epithelial tissue and the myoepithelial components. This epithelial content can be arranged in the form of ducts, it can be arra arranged in the form of epithelial sheets and nests. It can form lining of the cysts and these cysts are filled with eosinophilic coagulum. Now the myoepithelial component, myoepithelial component may form something called as hyaline cells. These hyaline cells are nothing but the swollen myoepithelial cells and their cytoplasm is filled with kind of homogeneous eosinophilic material. That's why it's called as the hyaline cell. Hyaline, the term hyaline means glass-like. The myoepithelial cells can also be filled by cartilaginous material. Now, if we talk about the treatment of this tumor, as we know it is a benign tumor and excision is the best approach to treat this tumor. This tumor is resistant to radiation. It, radiation is not a good choice. It is rather contraindicated in pleomorphic adenoma. 
very rarely malignant transformation of this tumor is seen and when th it happens the tumor is called as carcinoma ex pleomorphic adenoma and in very very rare cases even the metastas metastasis of benign tumor is seen wherein the benign tumor is metastasized to lungs to the lymph nodes and if this happens sometimes it may even be fatal but thankfully this situation is very very rare so that was about pleomorphic adenoma and we'll be talking about the other salivary gland tumors in our other videos